Greetings, my friends. If you were to ask me, do I need Jesus to get to heaven? I would tell you, my friend, you need Jesus to get anywhere. I hope you're doing well today. And I love that this mockingbird is coming right up here. And I just love the mockingbird. So we'll see what else comes up here. Oh, there was the blue jay. Maybe he'll come back. We are talking about self-control, trying to become a better person. So I found some good verses in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 4. And I'm going to paraphrase most of this. And here we go. By His divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. Because of his marvelous glory and excellence, he has given us great promises. It is through these promises we are able to escape the world's correct cor corruption caused by human desires. So God gives us the promise he will see us through. And it's power, power for our heart. And in verses 5 through 7, in view of all of this, make every effort to respond to God's promises. Supplement your faith with the generous provision of moral excellence. And moral excellence with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with patient endurance, and patient endurance with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love, for everyone. So God gives us the tools in our tool chest for self-control. And there is a cardinal right there. Maybe it'll come up. So moving into finishing up that big old question, if we lack self-control, would a lack of self-control contribute to breaking each one of the Ten Commandments? And you can look at the previous two good newses and you will see that that is pretty much the case. A lack of self-control lets the deceiver move right in. And whenever that happens, every, anything can happen. So in Proverbs chapter 6, verses 16 through 19, these are things that the Lord hates through 16 through 19. And in verse 18, a heart that devises wicked schemes feet that are quick to rush to evil. In other words, no self-control, we just rush to evil, and we end up in trouble. And now the last Ten Commandments, coveting, coveting others' things. We want what other people have, and that can lead to jealousy, all kinds of things in our mind, it's not fair, uh, I would like that, you know, or even who knows what, you can fill in the blank, but in James chapter 4, verses 2 through 4, jealousy, insecurity, anger, you want what you don't have, so you scheme and kill to get it, and in Matthew chapter 16, verses 26 through 27, what good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? And that is it right there. You lose self-control, you lose your soul. And that is what we, a big tool for our toolbox. We look for things that we can do to get to heaven through Jesus. He's laid it all out. He, God sent Jesus to earth to die for us on the cross, a terrible execution-style death. And it was just horrible. So that we could gain access to heaven, so we got to do our part. So think about these things in your heart, read about them, and do things that can help, help you to become a better person. That's what we're studying right now, is how can we be a better person? And I just love these little critters, and they are very hungry. It's going to be very cold tonight. Stay warm where you are. Amen.
bye little buddy till tomorrow my friends